Tuesday. We're going to be looking again at Philippians uh, chapter number 2, some of my favorite verses. In fact, I would suggest that you would uh, memorize uh, verses 5 through 11. Commit them to memory. These are verses I use often and have uh, most of my uh, Christian life, and they are speak very much to uh, the uh, personhood of Jesus Christ. Chapter 2, verse 5 says, Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, who, being in the very form of God, and thought it not robbery to be equal with God, but he made himself of no reputation, taking upon himself the form of a bondservant, and coming in the likeness of men. And being found in the appearance of a man, he humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death, even death on the cross. Therefore God has also highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow of those things in heaven and those things on earth and those things under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Oh my, what a wonderful passage of Scripture that talks about the life of Christ. He says that this attitude needs to be in every one of us. The very attitude that Jesus showed forth when he was upon this earth. Even though Jesus was co-equal, co-eternal with the Father and with the Spirit, Jesus humbled himself and came down to the earth. He set aside his uh, privileges. He set aside uh, his godhood. For, uh, not that he wasn't God, but the privileges of godhood and the rights that that brought about. To be able to become one of us. What sacrifice. What humility. What love that he would have that kind of desire for us. Not only did he humble himself to be one of us, but did you notice in that passage, he not only became a human being in the flesh, but he became a bond servant, one who served his fellow man. And not only did he become a bond servant, he became the one who took uh, upon himself death. And not just a simple death of uh, going through a, a, a peaceful kind of death, but he says, even death on the cross. And then it says that he, uh, because he humbled himself, because he was willing to do all those things, he was highly exalted by the Father, that the Father has given him a name which is above every name. Don't you love that name of Jesus? I love it when people talk well of our Father. I love it when the people talk well of the Lord Jesus Christ. It breaks my heart when someone disparages those names. And Jesus has a name that's above every name. And one of these days, at the name of Jesus, every knee is going to bow. Those in heaven, those that are still on the earth at that time, and those beneath the earth, he's talking about in hell itself, are going to bow their knee. And everyone is going to use the mouth that God created and gives to them to profess that Jesus Christ is, the glory, is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Don't wait till that time. Make sure that you confess that Jesus Christ is Lord today. But he says this needs to be our attitude. We need to be going about in this world as people who are willing to give sacrificially, to give of ourselves, so that others might come to know the salvation that we know. It's wonderful to know that God loves us so very much that he was willing to give us his son, that we might have this kind of life. I believe we need to go out today and be that kind of person with a humble heart, a sacrificial heart, a heart filled with love of lost people and of souls we know are going to spend eternity either with God or in the devil's hell. And we need to go forth and declare Christ to the nations. I hope you have a blessed day. And I hope that you have some divine appointments today. If you do, then take every opportunity to share Christ. Let us pray. Father, we again thank you for this day, and we pray that as we begin this day of noon, help us to have an attitude adjustment, to adjust our attitudes to be like the mind of Christ, that we may go forth to see this world as you see it, as lost humanity, as the need of the gospel, and help us to be able to declare today to someone what Jesus has done for us. Give us a divine appointment. Give us the words to say. We'll give you the praise. In Jesus' name, amen.